Hello guys, welcome to Online Web Tutor. I am Sanjay. We are learning Coding Night 4 Framework Tutorial. This is our part number 9. Inside this video session guys, we will discuss that what are closer routes. So as we had discussed inside previous videos that our main configuration of routes will be stored inside this app config and the responsible file will be routes.php. Now inside this file, we will do all our application routes configuration. Now if we closely look inside these settings or inside this configuration then we have our routes object, git method and here we have our route like we have welcome page, simple, about us, contact us and these routes are calling a controller and a respective associated method. So here for the closer based concept, what I will do simply go inside this file and let's say the routes using get method and inside this I will make a simple route let's say simple, let's say call and inside this instead of calling a controller and its method I am going to define anonymous function. So let's say function and this function is now going to provide a definition to this route call. So let's print a static message so here inside this echo h1 tag let's say welcome to online web tutor. Now here what I did simply we have defined a route what previously we had done but remember inside these cases we have a controller and a method but this time we have a simple function. Now if you go inside browser and type index.php and the route we have defined called simple hyphen call and as we can see that this is the message what we have rendered by means of this function. So as per the theoretical point of view we can give the smart answer that the route closer routes are those routes which handled by means of anonymous function by means of closer functions. Inside this call, we didn't use any controller and method. Now instead of this static message, also we if we want to call any view file, also we can use a view function here. Simply let's return view and inside this, let's say that simple hyphen call and this is the view file which we will create inside views folder and keep in mind we haven't passed any directory structure so we need to create this file at the root of this views folder. So let's say views and the file name we have called simple call.php. Now what I will do if I cut this message putting it here and let's say that called by view. Now if we save go here reload this page and as we can see that our view content is now rendering. So these are closer routes which handled by means of function inside this we can use any static message or let's say that a view file. Where we use this concept? We use this concept let's say if we want to test our application if we want to create any route which is not dependent on any controller and also we want to create any routes which is going to perform any certain operations so on those conditions we use the concept of closer routes and one more thing before closing this video is that inside this file we have used right now so far about this get method now in the next videos also we will discuss that apart from get method we have other methods as post delete put update and so on and one of the special method is also known as our match method. Inside match method, we, we need to pass our array of request methods. Right now, here we have get method and this get method is going to call this simple method. So simply inside site controller, simple method 
is going to use get request type now if suppose we have used suppose our match method inside match method we will pass array of request methods like get and post the same method is going to use those methods so in the next video guys we will discuss about our parameterized routing as well as query string routes so inside this video session guys if you went out then please drop your comment i'll give my reply as soon as possible so for this video session guys thank you for watching and have a great day